Today, I'm putting the Nikon ZX to the test to see if it really can outshine the Z9 II and Z9H as the ultimate global shutter camera. The camera world has been buzzing with anticipation ever since Nikon announced the release of their new ZX model, and I'm excited to dive in and see if it lives up to the hype. With the Z9 II and Z9H already established as top-tier cameras, the question on everyone's mind is, can the Nikon ZX take the crown? When it comes to capturing high-speed action, sports, or even just general photography, current cameras often fall short due to rolling shutter effects. This is where a global shutter comes in, a feature that's been touted as a game-changer for the industry. So, what's the big deal about rolling shutter effects, and why is a global shutter seen as the holy grail? Rolling shutter effects occur when the camera's sensor reads the image in a sequence, rather than all at once. This often results in distorted or skewed images, particularly when capturing fast-moving subjects. It's a problem that's plagued photographers and videographers for years, and it's only getting more pressing as the demand for high-quality content continues to grow. With the rise of social media and online platforms, the need for crisp, professional-looking visuals has never been more important. But a global shutter camera changes the game entirely. By capturing the entire image simultaneously, it eliminates the rolling shutter issue, allowing for razor-sharp images even at the highest speeds. This opens up endless possibilities for creatives, from capturing high-speed action to producing stunning, cinematic footage. So, the question is, can the Nikon ZX deliver on its promise of a global shutter, and if so, how does it stack up against the competition? So, let's take a closer look at the Nikon ZX and its specs. On paper, it's an impressive beast, boasting a 45-megapixel sensor, 12-bit RAW capture, and 8K video capabilities. But how does it compare to the Z9 II and Z9H? Well, the Z9 II has a similar sensor size, but it tops out at 10-bit 4K video, whereas the Z9H has a slightly smaller sensor, but can shoot 10-bit 8K. The Nikon ZX, on the other hand, seems to be the most well-rounded of the three, offering a balance of resolution, bit depth, and video capabilities. When it comes to autofocus, the Nikon ZX has a serious leg up on the competition. With 493 phase detection points, it's significantly more advanced than the Z9-2's 231 points and the Z9-H's 251 points. This means faster, more accurate tracking and less chance of missing the perfect shot. Additionally, the Nikon ZX has a much faster burst mode, capable of firing off up to 20 frames per second, compared to the Z9 II's 11 frames per second and the Z9 H's 10 frames per second. But what really sets the Nikon ZX apart is its global shutter mode. By using a specialized sensor design, Nikon has managed to achieve true global shutter capabilities, eliminating rolling shutter effects and allowing for stunning, distortion-free images. And the results are nothing short of breathtaking. I've had the chance to put the Nikon ZX through its paces, and I can confidently say that it's a game-changer. So, what does it all mean? The Nikon ZX is more than just a camera, it's a statement of intent. It's a declaration that global shutter technology is here to stay, and that the era of rolling shutter effects is coming to an end. And as we move forward into an increasingly fast-paced, visually driven world, the implications are staggering. The Nikon ZX isn't just a tool for creatives, it's a key to unlocking a whole new level of visual storytelling. In conclusion, the Nikon ZX is an absolute powerhouse of a camera, and its global shutter capabilities make it a serious contender for the top spot. Whether you're a professional photographer, videographer, or just someone who loves capturing life's moments, the Nikon ZX is definitely worth a closer look. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave your thoughts on the Nikon ZX in the comments below. If you want to see more in-depth camera reviews and comparisons, be sure to check out my other videos, get ready to revolutionize your photography experience. The Nikon ZX is here, and it's changing the game with its cutting-edge global shutter technology. Say goodbye to rolling shutter effects and hello to crisp, clear images like never before. In this video, we'll dive into the innovative features of the Nikon ZX and explore how it's set to transform the world of photography. From capturing fast-paced action to shooting stunning landscapes, the Nikon ZX is poised to take your photography skills to the next level. 
So, what are you waiting for? Watch now and discover the future of photography, get ready for a game-changing camera debate. In this video, we're putting the Nikon ZX under the microscope to see if it has what it takes to dethrone the mighty Z9 II and Z9H. With its global shutter feature, the ZX is promising unparalleled performance and image quality. But can it really live up to the hype? Join us as we dive into the specs, features, and real-world performance of the Nikon ZX to find out if it's the camera that will crush the competition. Whether you're a professional photographer or an enthusiast, you won't want to miss this in-depth analysis of the Nikon ZX and its potential to shake up the camera market is the Nikon ZX Reel. This global shutter monster could be a Sony A9 III Killer II good to be true? The Nikon ZX will reportedly be the Big N's first ever global shutter sensor camera sodium warning. This is a pretty wild camera rumor, but potentially a pretty exciting one. It's being reported that Nikon is working on its first consumer camera with a global shutter sensor, the Nikon ZX. It's being described as a flagship camera, pitched as a direct competitor to the Canon EOS R3 and Sony A9 III, the latter of which also has a global shutter sensor, a version of which may be the one that makes its way into the Nikon ZX, since Nikon acquires its image sensors from Sony. Once again, this is just a rumor at present. The Nikon ZX might be just as much wishful thinking as the Nikon Z9H, a high-speed camera that was rumored at the end of 2023, or, indeed, it could be the very same camera with a different name. I've seen enough crazy rumors over the years that have turned out to be true, even if it took a few years. Anyway, I thought this merited discussion even if it turns out to be nothing but air. Because, sooner or later, Nikon is going to release a camera with a global shutter sensor. Nikon ZX. Fact or fiction? So what do we know about the Nikon ZX? The rumor comes from new camera. Nikon has working flagship mirrorless prototypes with global sensors. Right now, we have very limited information since they didn't exist in the handling experience of any professional photographer. The early, box style, prototypes are very much restricted to lab environments. The source said the project name is ZX, don't consider it an official name. When we asked about the arrival date and competitors, the camera is a direct competitor of the Canon R3 or Sony A9 Mark III. The expected arrival timeline points towards Q4 of 2026. The Z9H was also rumored to be a flagship camera with a global shutter sensor, with the H being a nod to the suffix Nikon used to give it speed-focused flagship cameras, like the Nikon D1H, which was a speed-oriented upgrade of the 